Am I the a-hole stories? Am I the a-hole for telling my dad the reason I don't respect him is because he's chronically pee-whipped? Title sounds bad but hear me out. I, 16 female, live with my dad, 38 male, and now new stepmom Amanda, 31 female, and stepsibs Kate and Bo, 9 female and 11 male. My dad is this problem where he just totally cows to whatever woman gets with him. Every girlfriend he's ever had since my mom died when I was 7, has been the one calling the shots with him. They'd complain about anything, and he'll end up handling it to please them so they'd stick around. It doesn't help that he's only ever dated one horrible woman after another. Within the last few years, I've stopped listening to my dad or any of his girlfriends when they try to boss me around, on the girlfriend's orders usually, because I'm tired. Dad has said I'm going through the rebellion phase, like I'm just being an angsty teen with no real problems. Amanda has taken issue with my bad behavior, and is constantly criticizing me and complaining to my dad to straighten me out, and so he's constantly on my case too. It all came to a head this week when Amanda got mad at me for not letting her kids play with my ness, it's old and delicate and her kids are not. I told her to screw off, and if she wanted to keep her kids entertained, then she can let them play with her switch, which she won't because they'll break it. So after that, she stormed off crying to my dad who stormed into my room to witch at me for being so damn disrespectful to him and his wife. He said I needed to learn some respect for him, but I just lost it and cut him off by screaming at him. I said I don't respect him because he's a chronically pissy whipped loser who would rather coddle his witch wife than stand up to her BS. He looked really offended and got quiet before yelling that I was grounded, then he stormed out, slamming my door. Later my grandma called and said I was being childish and need to shape up and apologize to my dad because he keeps a roof over my head and food in my stomach, and that's no way to treat him. Am I the a-hole? Edit, to everyone saying you should have explained why you didn't want them using the NES. I did. I explained it calmly to her kids, then to her. But she said it was just chunk, and if they broke it then it wouldn't matter. That is when I told her to screw off. Edit too, some people told me I can edit in more after posting. I wasn't able to include all details because of the character limit, but I'm seeing a lot of comments with the same questions etc, so I'm gonna try to sum things up here now. 1. I've tried asking my dad to go to therapy with me, but he's refused every time. He says therapy is for crazies and won't listen to me. 2. I've tried talking to my dad more than once about how him and his girlfriend slash wife treat me makes me feel like crap. Each time I'm brushed off. 3. Me being disrespectful usually consists of me not dropping my online schooling to go into the store for Amanda because she doesn't have makeup on, not letting her kids into my bedroom when I'm not there, her son has sticky fingers, not doing enough cooking slash cleaning despite Amanda having no job and not cleaning or cooking more than once a week, babysitting all the time, and basically just not being a live-in servant for her slash them. 4. My dad choosing to coddle his girlfriend slash wife isn't new. He's been doing it since he started dating after mom died. So this blow up wasn't out of nowhere really. I hope this clears things up. Now for the top comments. Not the a-hole. I'm ready for the downvotes but here we go. OP, I'm sorry that you're having to adjust to a parent who won't stand up for you. While your wording could have been slightly better, I understand where you're coming from. You had to watch your dad put the women in his life over you, while you lived through without your mom. I understand his need to find love as well but kids are supposed to come first, and especially one that has lost their mother. Read from your comments that you're having to babysit the kids as well and you're asked to give up your stuff on demand, so your frustration is justified. You're a minor, so your dad has to feed you and keep a roof over you, so don't take your grandma's words to the heart. I hope you'll go off to college in two years and get a better life. This is gonna sound really stupid, but your comment made me cry like. I think you might be the first person ever to tell me I'm not just acting out for no reason, and crap, I didn't know I needed someone to understand this badly. I'm just sitting here crying like an idiot but this meant so much to me. Thank you. Yeah don't listen to these YTAs. They're jumping on the disrespectful brat bandwagon your dad runs, because you finally blew up and didn't give a hallmark, rate a G slap down. Thank you. I'm trying. But it hurts to see so many people mirroring my dad's hurtful stuff. Not the a-hole. Are you a teenager? Yes. Was this a bright idea? Nope. But to be honest, this is what teens do, especially ones being told to sacrifice their stuff to take care of kids that aren't theirs and ones that have lost their mothers early. The reality is that, you don't have any good options. They aren't going to meet your needs. The best you can do is some damage control. 
Quit acting like a child spoken to a child. What the hell? OP is supposed to be childlike enough to bow to an adult's demands, but not childlike enough to throw a fit. At the same time, OP is supposed to be mature enough to have serious well thought out discussions, but not mature enough to have set her boundaries. Pick a damn lane. Teens get the worst send of the stick. Not the a-hole. Seeing a lot of double standards on the white IA posts, par for the course I guess, and generally holding OP to the hallmark approved response standard. I don't usually cuss like that, but I was just so damn mad. It feels like Amanda is the one who is a bratty teen. She doesn't get her way on something and she goes tattling to my dad to fix it. Now for the next story. Am I the a-hole for not giving my stepmom a heads up that my daughter was being named after my mom? I, 25 female, had my daughter last month. I named her after my mom because she and I are so close and I love the idea of my daughter having my mom's name. I will say it's technically her nickname she is since my mom never goes by her given name. And my daughter's middle name is my father-in-law's middle name because my husband wanted to honor the man who raised him and his brother and sister single-handedly, and who has been so amazing and wonderful to us. I honestly did not think of my stepmom when I was picking the name, but she was upset when we announced the name and she made it very clear that I was insensitive because she has been in my life since I was five, and she felt like if I could honor one mom, why not honor both? It was really an awkward conversation because she wasn't a huge part of my life. I spent most of my time at my mom's growing up and really, I was more focused on my relationship with my dad as a kid. And I still would be if our relationship had become closer over the years, but it's more distant than I think he ever intended for it to be, but we have never been able to gain a better closeness with each other. So when she brought it up I told her it had not been intended as anything against her, but I wanted to honor my mom. This upset her even more and she told me the least I could have done was warn her so she could prepare for the fact the girl she considers a daughter doesn't give two f's about her, and doesn't consider her a mom figure enough after 20 years to include her in the honor. I guess now I'm just wondering if she was right, that at the very least, I should have given her a heads up. Things are pretty explosive now and she's angry and sad. Am I the a-hole? Not the a-hole. You are not responsible for your stepmother's feelings or expectations. You've named your daughter honoring both sides of her family, how many names was she expecting you to give your daughter? Honestly? She probably expected it to be her and my mom being honored without anyone from my husband's family. Again, you aren't responsible for her expectations and I'm sorry her behavior and unjustified anger are possibly casting a cloud over what should be a happy time. A lot of people don't announce a child's name until after they are born, she's a bit precious to think you needed to give her a heads up that her name wasn't a contender. Not the a-hole. This wasn't about her. How selfish of her to make this moment of meeting a new tiny person about her. She's not doing much to exemplify what it is about her you should have been honoring. Focus on getting to know your child and let her have whatever tantrums. How entitled to think you deserve to know the name before anyone else. Did she even tell you congratulations before becoming a victim? She did not. She went straight in on the name and what she had wanted. Not the a-hole. You and your husband both got to honor a parent. Stepmom has quite a high opinion of herself to think she is more important than your real mother. And real father. Given that they used father-in-law's name, OP's dad could be all but hurt about not being included too. But he's not acting like a crazy person. The next story is titled. Am I the a-hole for telling my mom she needs to own her marriage failing and not blame me? My mom is going through a divorce right now. She and her husband have been together slash married for 18 years. She and her husband got married when I was 7, 10 months after my dad died, and it was rough. I was so mad at the time. I told her she didn't love my dad as much as me if she could replace him that quick. She would get mad at me, and tell me I shouldn't say that, and she had a right to be happy. I told her she should have waited because I wasn't ready. For about 5 years, we had the same fight almost every day, because she would expect me to be happy and bond with her husband and I just couldn't. I had no therapy to help me cope and I saw my mom move on really fast and then have this new person who was trying to play the role I wanted only my dad to have. It was tough. When the fighting stopped our relationship remained fractured and we basically coexisted. Fast forward to today, and my mom and I talk very rarely but that's about it. She told me about the divorce at Christmas, and then earlier this month she told me she needed me to apologize for my role in this. That by saying so often that she couldn't have loved my dad if she remarried so fast, I made it stick in her head and left her with doubts and guilt, and it destroyed her marriage and her happiness. 
I told her she could not put that on me. I was a grieving kid she refused to help. And that she needed to own her part in her marriage failing. She said at the very least I should apologize for being so cruel to her when she was trying to be happy. I told her I didn't know her that when she couldn't even help me after my dad died. The only reason I'm posting here is I know I said it a lot, and maybe even though I was a kid when it happened, I should apologize now, I don't know? Or maybe you will all say I did basically ruin her marriage. I feel like I need to know. Am I the a-hole? Now for the top comments. Not the a-hole, you were a kid. That didn't get any help dealing with the loss of your dad. Your mom was the adult and should have dealt with the situation better. The nerve of this woman to ask you to apologize is really flabbergasting. Jumping on to say, I find it hilarious that a grown woman is trying to pin her issues on a 7-year-old child, at the time, mom needs a reality check. Not the a-hole. Narcissists believe children operate at their level. Because they do lol. They were both 7 years old at the time, except mom never grew up. Not the a-hole. You were 7. A child. A grieving child that needed help to cope and process big emotions that most adults struggle with. And she let you down. You didn't ruin her happiness, she did that to herself. She was 7, and they still managed to stay married for 18 years. If OP's rejection of the guy was such an issue it caused them to divorce, surely it would have happened well over a decade ago? Not the a-hole. This one hits close to home so it is hard to stay objective. Adults make their own choices. Those choices come with consequences, sometimes good, sometimes bad. You were a child who lost their father and had no way of dealing with it or understanding so you lashed out and blamed. Was it the best way to handle things? Probably not, but if is what you had in your tool belt at the time. Your mom had plenty of tools and chose to move on. Anything she did or didn't do in her marriage is on her. Not you. Now for the last story. Am I the a-hole for screaming at my stepmother that she doesn't care about us? I, female 21, am a triplet. I love my two sisters and after 21 years, of course I'm used to people mixing us all the time, it's annoying but we are used to it. My dad has been dating with his wife for 8 years, married for 6 years. I can count with my fingers just how many times she has gotten our names right, even though we've told her the little things to tell us apart. And all these years, we've spent New Year and vacations with them, it's not like she never sees us, but I swear that she gets the names wrong every time. We all have similar voices and jobs too. But right now, one of my sisters has pink hair while the other one dyed it blonde. She still gets it wrong each time, and it annoys all of us since it's not coming from a stranger but someone that has spent lots of time with us. We correct her every time or don't reply until she gets it right. She doesn't have a good relationship with our mom so I guess that might affect? But I'm not sure. She hasn't always been nice to us either. A few days ago, she wouldn't stop calling me by my sister's name and it was annoying me. I corrected her a few times and she said I was rude. I told her that she obviously didn't care about us or would have tried harder by now. She tried to punish me and we got into an argument. I don't know what she said to my dad, but he is on her side and wants me to apologize. I don't want to. My sisters are on my side. Am I the a-hole for screaming at her and not wanting to apologize? Edit, I forgot, but my mom's husband was able to tell us apart after one year. Not the a-hole. She tried to punish you at 21 year old? She doesn't want to learn your name. She has known you for a very long time so it is a choice. Your dad is an ass too for not expecting his children to be respected. Dad was never really into having children though, so we don't really expect much from him. Do you live with him? Is it better than at mom's? Just move out with your sisters and make dad pay so you don't have to see them both. Mom is amazing. She lives in another country though. My sisters are with me and we are planning on moving back to mom's, our, country soon. So you mean to tell me that A, you've known this woman for 8 years, B, you've given her hints to help her get your names right, and C, you all currently have different hair colors. And she can't get it right? Not only that, she tried to punish you for correcting her? You're 21. Not 12. Not the a-hole. Edit, I don't think a child at any age should get punished for this. Just thought it was weird that stepmom was trying to punish a legal adult. Yes. When we were younger, we also had different hairstyles, one had bangs, the other one had shorter hair, since our mom wanted to make it a little easier for everyone. We are used to getting mixed and we always give hints on how to differentiate us but with her, at this point, it feels like it's on purpose. 
It takes a week or two for me to tell to tell twins apart, I had two sets in high school. She is definitely doing it to be a jerk, especially with the hairstyle differences. I mean, I understand it if we are in a different room because our voices sound similar so I guess we can excuse that, but after 8 years and especially with all of us having different styles and different hair colors it just feels rude. And that's it for this video guys, if you have thoughts to share, leave a comment below. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you like this content. I'll catch you in the next one. Good day everyone.